Okay, let's consider this example. So it's the same as before central bank prints out one money given to generation zero for free. Now we assume that every generation have 10 bananas instead of four bananas when they are young, and they have no bananas when they are old. And then suppose that in each period, one money trades for V bananas. And the question asks us to solve for V, as well as the consumption level of generation one. Okay, to do this type of question, we always consider generation zero's problem and generation one's problem. Generation zero received this unit of money from central bank. So all they want to do is to sell one money in the market, as simple as that. At the same time, uh, if you look at generation one, they can decide how many ever money they want from the market. So let's assume they buy M money from the market. Because the price of money is one money equal to V bananas. So to buy M money, they have to pay VM bananas to buy M money. Now, generation one care about your lifetime happiness, which is C young times C old. When they are young, they have 10 bananas now. But they have to pay VM bananas to buy the money. So what they have uh, left to eat is 10 minus VM bananas. When they are old, they have no bananas to eat, but they have V money, M money they bought when they were young. They can sell the M money for VM bananas. So this is the problem of generation one. So you can plug this into the budget constraint take first order condition and solve for M. And eventually you're going to get an answer where M is equal to five over V. Now in the market, generation zero want to sell one money, generation one want to buy five over V money. Supply equal to demand five over V and that implies V equal to 5. So in this market, every piece of money is going to sell for 5 bananas. And when V is equal to 5, we can also plug it back here to calculate M, which is 5 divided by 5, which is equal to 1. Plug V equal to 5 and M equal to 1 into generation 1's budget constraint. That implies C young is equal to 10 minus V times M, 5 times 1, which is 10 minus 5, which is 5. Oops. Which is 5. Similarly, C O is equal to V M, V is 5, M is 1, so 5 as well. So in equilibrium, generation one, although their endowment is 10 bananas when young and zero when old, they are going to eat five bananas when they are young and five bananas when they are old. And their happiness over their lifetime is five times five, which is 25. So that solves uh, this example.